Hello everyone, this is Rambo from CData. Today we will introduce the difference of HGONU and SFUONU. Uh, actually, HGONU takes the virtual Ethernet interface point as the partition point of the OMCI management domain and the non-OMCI management domain in the data plan like uh, TR069 and SNMP and so on. The ME achieves management only through OMCI and the non-OMCI management domain can only manage all services and functional modules under the VIP. Only one VIP can allow in each HGU ONU and uh, HGU ONU will report VIP like this or PPTP. PPTP means a physical path termination point. When the MIP is uploading according to the type of device, well, HGU ONU can only use and report VIP rather than PPTP. OLT will judge the type of ONU devices according to the attribution of ONU type in ONU capability. PPTP is that OLT directly send a VLAN data to the physical interface of ONU Facing the whole processing process of data flow uh, and VIP visualize the total interface of an ONU. OLT and ONU conduct data docking through VIP. The service under VIP are managed by ONU through their configuration. In short, PPTP is a LAN port conception and VIP is a virtual one port in HGU. Normally, HGU when you provide either NAT IP service, VOIP service, and optional CATV service. HGU when you has a Ethernet interface and port interface. WLAN interface and a USB interface and a CATV RF interface. Besides, it also supports TIG Low Sys9 remote management and EMS local and remote management. Normally, SUONU is used in FTT edge scenarios. SFUONU only support OMCI management domain. PPTP is what SFU use and report, while SVIP is not available. The processing mode of OMCI config data flow is different from RG flow. For OMCI data flow, there is a one-to-one -one mapping between the gym part on the one side and the uni part on the LAN side. All data packets are passed through without MAC address learning or forwarding. Well, these interfaces are not allowed in OMCI. SFU when you use in FTT edge scenario has one or two Ethernet interfaces and is available for either NAT IP services, optional VOIP service, or CATV service. SFU when you works under the bridge mode, supports multiple VLAN functions, and its Ethernet port can be configured and managed by OLT through OMCI or OAM. Combined with a home gateway, SFU ONU is good at providing strong service capability. 
Next, I will show you the configuration of SUONU and SFUONU on OLT. Now, this is our Jifang OLT with 8 pound port. This is the SGONU. This is SFUONU. This is my uh, network connection. And I will show you how to configure the one connection for SGONU. My laptop has connected to this Jifang OLT. Now, uh, this is our SGONU information. Then we can show the one config of it. See, we can see that there isn't any one configuration on this ONU. Let's check the ONU web. See, on the ONU, there isn't any one connection. Now, we will show config the one connection on OLT to the ONU. Boot mode internet. Here we select the HCP mode. VLAN. VLAN attack. Inbounding. VLAN at 1. Okay, done. Then we can show here. the one connection is configured and we can check on the ONU see ONU one connection is here and it gets the IP address now let me show you the SFU ONU configuration on the OLT Let's log in the OLT first. See, this is our uh, SFU ONU with 1G port. It is online now. Then we will configure the profile for it. This is the service profile. The last one is live profile. Let's configure the ONU VLAN port VLAN. And port native VLAN. And now we just uh, change 
modify the ONU profile. After that, we have to configure a service part for this ONU. And we have to uh, configure the VLAN for the uplink G port. Oh, sorry. Set configuration. And then we can check the Ethernet. See, we can see that the, this PC gets the IP address from server now. It means the internet service is working now. That's all.